Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of speaking with Steve DeMarco. He's Vice President of Worldwide Sales at Exactly. Welcome, Steve. Thank you, Gerhard. You gave a wonderful presentation today to our Sales 2.0 audience. Uh, can you share a little bit about your core message? Yeah, it's uh, interesting, Gerhard. So, uh, since I've been head of our worldwide sales group here at Exactly for about uh, three years now, it's uh, become apparent to me that our sales team is growing and it's growing in a very diverse way. And what I found is that we're hiring a lot of different types of sales reps from different generations. I mean, we're, we've got sales reps now very young coming out of school that are considered what they call the Generation Y or the Millennials. Um, but we also have a lot of folks from Generation X. And we're also seeing baby boomers come back into the, uh, to the mix as well. So three generations in, um, in most sales teams. And when I start polling and talking to our customers, I'm finding the same dynamic is happening all over. These three diverse generations coming in, selling, uh, becoming part of the team. And companies are finding it challenging to figure out how do we motivate all of these individuals the same way and make sure that we're keeping them all engaged and, and rewarding them the way that they want to be rewarded depending on what their likes and dislikes are uh, from, from the, the generation that they come from. So um, what advice do you give to millennials that uh, call on, uh, an older, uh, on a baby boomer? Yeah, interesting. It's, it's, it, first of all, it's, it's challenging and that happens quite a bit because um, uh, the millennials that we've hired uh, work with our um, work with our SMB uh, accounts. So they're calling on these accounts and a lot of times they'll get in touch with the CFO or the CEO and uh, they'll start talking and they immediately realize they have to up level their game. So what I tell them is they have to be ultra professional. Uh, they, they can't use any slang or colloquialisms. They, they have to pretend that they're on an even footing with whoever they're talking to. And, and so what we try and do is train them and instill them with the confidence that allows them to do that. Because for them to be able to talk uh, intelligently and uh, you know, uh, with, with, with authority to a CEO or a CFO who's probably a baby boomer uh, requires a lot of confidence. And so we train them so that they can have that confidence. So you train them to bridge the age gap? Absolutely. Um, what about if uh, you have somebody who is a, an older salesperson calling on a young entrepreneur uh, who has just uh, built a you know, 200 sales force company? Right. Um, how, how does the reverse work? You know, it, it's interesting, Gerhard. So what I, what I try to give all my reps, and especially those that are in that scenario, if they're an older sales rep calling on, say, one of these young entrepreneurs that is starting a company, is that at the end of it all, uh, knowledge and value trumps everything. So if you bring, if you learn about the business and you bring information and data to them that is valuable and you show that you have, you know, uh, pertinent knowledge that's going to help them solve some sort of problem, they don't care where you're from they, or what age you are or what generation you're from. They're interested in hearing and potentially buying what you have to sell because you're adding value. So that's the most important thing. So you're running a sales force of about 40 salespeople? Yeah, about 40 folks. And they're very diverse. Mm -hmm. they, some of them are inside, some of them are outside. Yes. How do you get them to collaborate and uh, how do you translate all that collective intelligence into something that benefits everybody? You know, it's, it's a challenge, um, especially since uh, different groups and the different generations um, grasp onto technology uh, differently. They have different opinions about technology. I find my millennials um, use a lot of the tools that we offer that allow for that collaboration to happen, whether it be uh, web-based presentation tools, um, social sites, um, you know, any, a lot of the tools that we see here at Sales 2.0 all the time, they're, they're, uh, uh, they, they, they use those tools really effectively. Our boomers and our Gen Xs not so much, and so we have to do a lot of training and cross-pollination. Um, but if we effectively do that, using these tools um, really helps the teams collaborate. Even though they're, they're in disparate places uh, throughout the country and the world, um, they can stay in touch with each other and leverage uh, each other's knowledge. So Steve, can you share with me your collective experience from your customers? What are yeah. some of the best practices that sales managers can use to drive success in their companies? Yeah, that's a great question, Gerhard. So, 
one of the things that I think uh, uh, allows companies to really engage with their salespeople, um, and that's, that's relatively new, but uh, it works no matter what generation that salesperson comes from, um, is, is access and visibility to, uh, to data, to information about, about their performance, how they're doing. Sales reps, and I don't mean this in a negative way, uh, for the most part, their DNA is a little bit, they're narcissistic, you know, they're very proud, they're competitive. They want to see how they're doing, especially if they're on the top of the list. And so things like leaderboards, you know, gamification um, tools, uh, reports and dashboards, all of those things really keep them engaged. And, and at first I thought, well, maybe some of the, uh, the later generations aren't going to like this stuff. Not the case. They love it. They love seeing where they are. They wish they had the stuff their whole career. And so the combination of uh, keeping them engaged and, and the tools and the visibility really, really helps motivate the sales teams these days. So what you're saying is that uh, the leaderboard uh, stimulates the competitive juices. Absolutely. And the, exactly. Your competition management yep. uh, software helps them uh, recognize that there's a relationship between uh, effort and results. Absolutely. You know, you know, our tools at Exactly are really great for, for calculating compensation, but the other side of it, what we also offer is that visibility, that reporting that allows salespeople to always know where they stand. Because it's not just the money aspect anymore. It's money, but it's also recognition and kind of like feeding that competitive, the competitive juices, as you say. Right. For anybody who would like to get more information, go to exactlycorp.com. Thank you so much. Thank you, Miguel Hart. It's a pleasure.